Hey everyone. So the topic of today is trigonometry, right? Uh, in this, we will discuss about the trigonometry of class 10th, basically, right? In class 10th CBSC board, we are dealing with trigonometry based on right triangles only, okay? Right angle triangles only. But that doesn't mean that trigonometry only applies in right triangle. So before starting that, we have to understand what is trigonometry or where we are applying that, okay? So let's talk about that. So the first thing that we have to discuss that what is trigonometry? Trigonometry, if you will see the first line that it is a type of maths that deals with the relationship between the sides and the angles of a right angle triangle. Okay. Trigonometry, it's a type of math. It is basically a science or we can say it is a part of maths where we are dealing with the relationship between the sides and the angles of a right angle triangle. Sabko pata hai ki agar hum kisi bhi ek triangle ki baat karte hai. Suppose I am talking about a triangle. Let's make a triangle. Agar main is triangle ki baat karte hu. Suppose triangle A, B, C. So we have three sides and three angles. If I will talk about the sides, agar main sides ki baat karte hu. So we have sides like A, B. We have sides is B, C. And we have the third side that is A, C. And if I'm talking about the angle, so we have three angles that is angle A, Angle B, angle C. So these are the angles basically and these are the sides. Okay, so three sides and three angles you have. And in a right angle triangle, we have here we have angle B is equals to 90 degrees. So one of the angle is 90 degree in a right angle triangle. It may be angle A, it may be angle B, it may be angle C. That depends upon how you are making the triangle okay and how you are putting the alphabets on the particular vertices right next why we are using trigonometry we are using trigonometry to find out the angles of a triangle and the length of their sides so basically agar hum dhyan se dekhe ki trigonometry agar aap triangle mein apply kar rahe hain to triangle ke andar hai kya या तो आपकी साइड्स हैं या फिर एंगल्स हैं तो या तो आप साइड्स फाइंड करेंगे या फिर एंगल फाइंड करेंगे लेकिन बाय यूजिंग द रेशियो यू आर फाइंडिंग द एंगल्स और यू आर फाइंडिंग द लेंथ ऑफ देयर साइड्स राइट नाउ इन एनी टाइप ऑफ ट्रायंगल वी कैन यूज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री ओके सो इफ यू विल से कि मैम क्लास टेंथ में अगर हम राइट ट्रायंगल्स में ट्रिग्नोमेट्री अप्लाई कर रहे हैं तो क्या किसी और ट्रायंगल में अप्लाई नहीं हो सकता we can apply everyone okay but before that understand one thing that trigonometry is a word that comes from two points trigonon and the metron trigonon means triangle and metron means the measurement it means you are measuring either the angles of a triangle or you are measuring the sides of the length of the sides of triangle. Okay, so this is the full form of trigonometry. Full, trigonometry is a word that comes from trignan plus metron. Means you are measuring the triangle basically. Okay, the triangle sides or you can say the angle. Okay, I think that's very much clear. Now, if you will see, if you will see this triangle. Suppose I am saying this is triangle ABC in which angle B is 90 degree, right? So we have three sides that is side A, side B and side C and we have three angles. Angle B is 90 degree, angle A we have and angle C which is equals to theta. Okay, we have three angles here, right? Now, now the next question you have is that ma'am, if we are talking about an obtuse angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle ki agar hum baat kar rahe hai, if you are dealing with an obtuse angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle in which one of the angle is greater than 
90 degree. Any angle. Suppose you are saying angle B. One of the angle. Angle. One of the angle B is A ki angle 90 degree se bada hooga. To ho aapko obtuse angle triangle ho jayega. So now your question is ma'am. Can we apply trigonometry in an obtuse angle triangle? Or can we apply trigonometry in an acute triangles? Yes. Obviously you can apply trigonometry. But in that case. You have to use law of sines and law of cosines that we will discuss in the further videos, right? Now, so we can apply trigonometry in other type of triangles. I mean, we can apply trigonometry in a non-right angle triangle also, right angle triangle also and non-right angle triangle also. But formula may be different or in that case, we are using the law of sines and cosines. Also, one more point that any non-right triangle, it can be, suppose you have a triangle. So, I'm showing you one triangle that is like this. So, suppose this is a triangle, okay? And you will say, so this is an obtuse angle triangle because this angle is greater than 90 degree. Obviously, if you will see, ye angle aapka 90 degree se bada hai, okay? Angle is greater than 90 degree. Now, if you will have to apply trigonometry in this triangle, so you just have to divide this triangle into two parts. So how you will divide this triangle into two parts? By drawing an altitude. So this is your altitude. Altitude is a line which you will draw from one of the vertex of a triangle. And it makes an angle of 90 degree with the other side of a triangle. So altitude which makes an angle of 90 degree with the another side of a triangle and it starts from one of the vertex to the side of a triangle okay side of one of, one of the side of the triangle okay so i think it's very much clear so in this video we have discussed about the trigonometry what is trigonometry uh, can we apply trigonometry in only right triangles or we can apply uh, trigonometry in non-right triangles also. So we can apply but in that formula may be different and we will use law of sines and cosines there. And so yeah. And one more thing we have to talk about the applications of trigonometry. So that will be in the next video. So thank you everyone.